When I say bananas, you say peppers. Today we have a whole case of uh, Pop Mart figures and I think you guys are gonna be really excited for this one because it is more of one that we unboxed a couple of months ago. That statement just made no sense. Maybe like a couple of months ago, maybe it was just a month ago now, we had like a Pop Mart PR box of sorts where they sent like a sampling of a bunch of different Pop Mart figures that they offer. I'm trying to remember all the things that were in there. There was like a magical little plaque and it had my name on it. Anyway, uh, one of the figures that you guys really seem to love and I seem to love was called the other one. Do you guys remember? It was like a boy in either a crow or a raven costume, but it was so awesome and detailed. And the figure almost looked like he had like little glass eyes. We have him sitting in the other room right now. Why didn't I bring him for reference for this video? I don't know. But look at this like case. I remember the boxes were like this as well. It's almost like an office supply kind of thing with like a little manila envelope. Look at that. And then we have to go like that. <gasps> it's like a really simple packaging, but there's just also something about it that I really, really like. There he is. Hirono? That's probably not how you pronounce that. It's got like a seal on it, which, oh my gosh, you guys, this is kind of like an office supply type thing, art supply that I have wanted to try for a long time. They have these like little handheld embossing. They're not a machine because it's literally just, you just press into the paper like this, but you can even order like custom ones and stuff. So here we go. I think we have 12 of them to unbox today. We're gonna go ahead and unbox the entire case. Okay, that's just a bunch of words. Here is all of the options. And once again, um, when I was like talking to Pop Mart several months ago, they kind of suggested that these could have been a choice for like Halloween time. I ended up picking another type called Ancient Castle, which was also like really cool and spooky. That was like one of our Halloween unboxings. So I think that this like is gonna have some creepy elements to it as well. Who did we get? This is what the inside envelope looks like. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that just looks so cute to me. I think, yeah, that's the same as like the seal. So let's see. Who did we get? Oh my god. This one looks so sad. I don't think that this one has any extras or anything, but it does have a card. Wait, I didn't even show it to you guys. This one looks sad. He's got his little um, teddy bear hat on. But I mean, just look at the detail in the face. Look at how shiny the eyes are. I think I said this in another video. They very much kind of look like ball jointed dolls to a certain degree. Obviously not as detailed or anything, but just like the glass eyes. I feel, well, maybe they are as detailed, but... By not as detailed, I mean they don't have like bendable joints and stuff like ball jointed dolls obviously do, but there is just like something, I don't know, about them. They almost look like those paintings where the eyes like follow you. So there's his little card and the back looks like a little postcard. So maybe that's kind of like an element of these two, like maybe he's meant to be like traveling or something. Uh, box number two. I don't know what the special edition would be or if there is one. Box number two. I think there's a ghost in here, which that would be so cool. We've got poison. Um, I'm just kidding. You guys know I hate the silica gel packets. Let's see who's behind door number two. What? It, ooh, this one does have a little accessory. <gasps> this one is actually crying, but he does have a banana phone. This is like cute, but his little tears. He's like dressed in a little monkey costume. He has a banana phone and he's weeping on the banana phone. Ah, 
you guys. Um, so there we go. There's his little card. We're gonna get one that's smiling this time. I just know it's not like everything has to be smiling all the time, but it just always makes me think of one of my favorite Twilight Zone episodes where they say, you need to drink a cup of instant smile. I'm like, what's a cup of instant smile and can I drink one? So it's looking like all of these have the accessories like already inside of the bags, which is interesting. What is this one? Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, this one is so cool. Oh my God, I love this so much. Look at how, see, this one is like kind of creepy. This is what I was talking about where it's not like directly like horror or Halloween or anything, but it is just like kind of unsettling. I mean, I guess like the costume element also would be Halloween. One's dressed as a bear, one's dressed as a monkey. And this one, he's clearly meant to be like a Pinocchio or a marionette, but he also kind of reminds me of those like ventriloquist dummies, especially with the mouth the way it is. This one is so cool. So there's his little um, puppet strings. This one is like definitely my favorite so far. There's just something like kind of unsettling about it and I like it. Yeah, this one is called Marionette. <laughs> he looks so funny there. I love it. Okay, box number four and let's see who we get this time. Maybe that's what it is, is he's supposed to be in a costume every single time. These are like taped. I feel like I haven't shown you guys this yet, but like, look, well now this one is like the least sealed one I've gotten so far, but I'm like down here. It's like a challenge to open these. And you guys, I feel like I have like an eyelash in this eye, just trying to fall in my eye. Ooh, okay. This one actually does have an accessory. So this is a box. Um, just as I was like, I don't think any of the accessories are outside of the, the figure envelope, you guys. It's one of those days where just everything I say comes out slightly weird out of my mouth. Huh? Let's see who belongs with our box. Huh? Oh, speaking of the Twilight Zone, this also gives me like Twilight Zone feels. There's like an episode where this guy like gets turned into a Jack in the Box. Maybe that, oh my God, is he a Jack in the Box? Maybe that is like actually what the costume is meant to be. Like a clown with like one of these traditional Jack in the Box cone hats. Maybe the card will say Jack in the Box. It is nowhere safe. That is very sad. I'm gonna call him Jack in the Box. Um, ta-da. Row one. Done. Sippy sippy time. Box number five. I almost like, I couldn't count to five. I was like, we've opened four. What number is next? Um, oh, which I, op I almost opened some mini brands today and I was like, no, you cannot just open mini brands again. I have three varieties of mini brands waiting for me to unbox downstairs and I'm excited. All right, let's see. I'm trying to not see the card. I didn't see it. I was like, I was checking the box for props. What is this one gonna, what is it? It's like a beast, a dragon. Oh my God, look at the character. He has like a little broken horn. It's like meant to be broken. That's the way it's sculpted. So he has a little bit of adorable imperfections there. Maybe his card will tell us like what he's meant to be. I literally don't know why I was gonna say dragons. I was like literally having one of those moments where I was like, were the dinosaurs covered in feathers? Cause I was thinking like, oh, he kind of looks like a dragon somehow, but also he's furry. So that almost doesn't make any sense. It's called the monster. Very fitting, just ambiguous. Monster boy. Very, very cute. Is he wearing sandals? Oh, they're like house shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh, now my nose is gonna start itching. Ah. I feel like as we glide into a season change, my allergies are just like, hello. Fox number six. I think this means we're halfway through. I feel like sometimes they go so fast. I feel like mini brands do take the longest to open because there's like five sections usually in each ball. All right, what is this one? Ooh, oh my God, he says liar. He's like covering his mouth. 
He has like a little fox mask. Oh my goodness. That's like so funny. Why is this funny to me? I don't know. He has a little tail. It's just called the fox. Isn't like the fox? It's like you're sly like a fox. But I never really think of like lying with foxes. I don't know. Do you guys associate lying with a certain animal? Next box, box number seven. What are we gonna get in lucky box number seven? Ooh, this one is like, feels wide. Let's see, oh, he has like little, oh my God, I thought that was a webbed foot. It's a tail. Don't worry about tomorrow. Well, all right, that's very good advice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one, he also looks like a bird with a crown. I don't know what that means. And he has a clock and look, the actual clock has like a bit of chain that actually moves. That's so cool. His little face is adorable. See, that's what I thought was a foot, it's a tail. Look at how glossy and glassy the eyes are. See, like, doesn't it almost look like the eyes are looking at you? Am I just making that up? Maybe it's like the magical glare reflection that I'm getting from the lights. He's called Cuckoo. Voila, okay. On row number two, box number eight. I really like the whole twine unwrapping experience. Ah. <laughs> look, look, look at what I've done there. That's a mess. Oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, this one actually has a little stand. This one's crying again. Oh my God. Wait, is he standing in a puddle of his own tears? That is so sad. The other one had like clear tears. This is like milky tears. Why? Oh, I do love the clear elements on this though. You guys look at the jacket. It's like the jacket has clear dinosaur sleeves. Maybe he's standing in the rain. This looks like a dinosaur raincoat costume. <laughs> These are just so detailed though. I honestly cannot get over. I just wish they were like crying less. I don't know why this one is called amnesia. Box number, is this box number nine? This one feels kind of heavy. <gasps> oh, okay. I wonder if this is going to be a repeat. So this one Almost looks like, yeah. Okay, so this is a repeat. This is the figure that we opened before that made me like fall in love with this collection. And I figured we would see this again because like I said, I don't know if there is like a secret chase variant or not. And that's the cool thing about if you get an entire case of Pop Mart figures, you do get like every single character in that case. Like you get a full set, except for obviously if there's a secret, like you're not guaranteed a secret, even if you get a full case. He has three accessories. He's got the little drum and his little bass, which I don't know, this bass is like a really cool shape. I absolutely love this costume. So cool. It almost looks like one of those like onesie costumes, you know? Um, and so this does remind me he is a crow. Last time I was like, is he a crow? Is he a raven? And I'm sure as you guys could tell in this video, I couldn't remember. Is he a crow? Is he a raven? He's a crow. Next. I think so far, definitely my favorite has been the marionettes, but I do really like the Jack in the Box as well. I'm just gonna call him Jack in the Box. <laughs> Ooh, there's like all these hawks flying outside this window. Interesting. Next. Oh, this one is like having a sit. Oh, ooh, he comes with a little critter. Okay, so this is like the first one that genuinely doesn't look like he's wearing a costume. So now I'm like, what is the theme here? Cause I feel like all of them until now have had a costume. I don't know what's going on, but he's literally just wearing a beanie. Now he does have this cute little Dare I say, it almost looks like a Godzilla figure. Maybe it's just meant to be a dinosaur. This is like really cute. I, for some reason, almost like this little like dinosaur guy, even better than the figure. What is it gonna say? Staring. <laughs> the costume is staring. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on now. Well, the first one, I guess, like maybe is just a hat and not a complete costume, but I just thought, oh, it's a bear, it's a costume. 
There are two boxes left. What is gonna be? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, we're back to the costumes again. He's like, box... Oh my god, it says home is a box. Is it because home is a box? This one has a cardboard box hat and also a boxing glove. Very interesting. I was like, oh, his costume is a boxer. But then I was like, why does he have a house? Like at first I was kind of thinking like, oh, maybe it's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland costume kind of thing. You know, when she's like in the house and then like, pfft, like she gets as big as a house and then she's kind of like wearing a house. But how does that go with boxer? I don't know. We also have this, which is kind of like a quarter, although it is one dollar. But look at how cool that is. I also thought that this was um, his stand but I literally think it's just a prop. <gasps> Ooh, he very precariously, oh, he will stand there kind of, but he is hat heavy. That one is really cool too. Last box. I feel like these went by really quickly. Isn't there a ghost? I swear there's one that is a ghost. Maybe he's gonna be in this box. They could have done a vampire too. Then I really would have liked that one. All right, last one. Is it a ghost in here? Oh my God, it is! <gasps> Look at, oh, this is like, is this my new favorite thing? And this is just the little, little tiny prop that he comes with, but oh my God, it's a little tiny baby ghost and he has a balloon. Look at how cute he is. Oh my God, you can't tell me that that's not adorable. Here is the ghost, which is so cute because he looks like he's like looking through a window or something. He has his little ghost hands. Aww. I also love the detail of the blue hair. So cute. You can see his little feet. We have the ghost and his little ghost baby with a little balloon. I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions about this adorable collection in the comments down below. Do you guys see a theme that I don't see? <laughs> if so, let me know what it is. I love these. They're mysterious. They're intriguing. The only thing I don't like about them is the crying. Less crying for series two, hopefully. Love the collection. Love the costumes. I think personally my favorite one, well, besides the crow, that we already got, um, marionettes. Easy, hands down, my favorite. There is just something unsettling about, see, don't like the crying, love the unsettling. What's going on there? Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member Johnny. of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.